Okay, so say I have a sample of carbon disulfide that weighs 32.37 grams. Is there a conversion factor that we can find or that might already be present on the board that would convert grams to moles? Yes. 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 What is that conversion factor called? The molar mass, okay? So we've got the molar mass up there, right? But we've got grams on top, so how do I do conversions, right? I'm gonna have to multiply it by a ratio, right? So when I do that, what's gonna be on the top? Yeah, one mole. And I like to say one mole of carbon disulfide just to kind of help myself out, keep my place. And on the bottom here, what's that gonna be? 76.13 grams of carbon disulfide. And cancels my grams, hopefully everybody sees that. My calculator, 32.37 divided by 76.13. So I got 0 0.4252 moles of carbon disulfide. Okay? Everybody's cool with that? Yes. So that is the first conversion factor that you guys already know from chapter three. Okay, so that's the one first one you're going to learn. Everybody? Any questions, I guess I should say. Questions, yeah. questions? Okay, good.